having understood the background of uh, diodes now uh, we can solve some of the problems on uh, the applications of diodes going through the first problem uh, a sinusoidal voltage of uh, peak value 10 volt and uh, frequency 50 hertz is applied to half wave rectifier given that the load resistance is uh, 800 ohms uh, and the diode resistance has also been specified which is 8 ohm we need to calculate the peak value of load current the average load current that is idc the rms load current irms the vdc the average output voltage rms output voltage efficiency and ripple factor so these are the given parameters uh, peak value which is nothing but equal to vm is 10 volt the frequency uh, is 50 hertz load resistance 800 ohm rf is 8 ohm first we need to determine the peak value of current so that we can determine uh, the idc and uh, rms value of the uh, load current so given that uh, the value of uh, forward resistance of the diode is given rf so the peak value of load current will be vm the ratio of uh, the peak voltage by load resistance plus the forward resistance of the diode so substitution of uh, these values the given values gives us the peak value of current to be 12.37 milliamperes now having found the peak value of load current we have the formula for uh, derive, uh, getting the dc uh, current the dc load current which is im by pi im has been determined here so substitution gives us the idc value to be 3.937 milliamperes the rms load current will be im by 2 which comes out to be 6.188 milliamperes the dc voltage which is the multiplication of idc which has been determined over here with rl gives us the dc voltage output dc voltage rms the determined rms multiplied by the load resistance gives us the vrms value to be 4.95 volts the efficiency since the rf value is given the formula will be 0 0.406 upon 1 plus rf by rl so the efficiency calculation gives us 40.19 percent the ripple factor under root vrms square by vdc square plus one the substitution gives us the ripple factor to be 1.118 which is greater than one so here we have a different problem wherein we are given with the ac voltage 230 volts now this is the voltage that is the voltage applied across the primary of the transformer which has a 50 hertz uh, frequency and the transformer has a turns ratio of 10 is to 1 the secondary of the transformer is connected to a half wave rectifier uh, and the diode has cut in voltage of 0.6 volts and forward resistance is 10 ohm we need to determine the rms value of the output current and the voltage if the load resistance is 1 kilo ohm we also need to determine the peak inverse voltage of the rating of the diode given that the primary rms 230 volts and the turns ratio we initially need to find out the secondary rms from the secondary rms we have to determine the peak voltage of the input signal so using the turns ratio n1 by n2 is equal to v1 by v2 we determine where n1 is 10 n2 is 1 v1 the primary rms voltage is 230 volts and the secondary rms is we will determine by cross multiplying that is 23 volts <coughs> having found the secondary rms we can determine the secondary peak voltage that is uh, multiplying the secondary rms by root 2 that comes out to be 32.52 volts one thing we need to make sure that when we determine the secondary peak voltage irrespective of whether the rectifier is half wave or full wave the secondary peak voltage will always be secondary rms into root 2 so once uh, we have found vm we are also given with the cutting voltage and also the forward resistance of the diode which we cannot ignore therefore the expression for im becomes vm minus v gamma upon rl plus rf and the substitution gives us the peak value of current as 31.61 milliamperes so once we have found the im we can uh, easily find out the rms current 15.805 milliamperes and the DC current IM by pi that is equal to 10.06 milliamperes 
and VRMS is uh, as we done in the previous uh, problem simply multiply the RMS current with the RL and the DC voltage you can obtain by multiplying IDC that has been obtained here by RL. The peak inverse voltage of the diode we know that it has to be greater than the VM because when the diode is reverse biased the maximum voltage that comes across that is VM so the peak voltage of peak inverse voltage rating of the diode has to be just above VM so that is 32.52 volts. Now here's a problem on uh, the half wave rectifier with the capacitive filter. A half wave rectifier with capacitive filter is supplied with the from a transformer having peak secondary voltage. So it is directly given here this value is BM and the frequency is 50 Hertz. The load resistance is 560 ohm and the capacitor used is 1000 microfarad. We directly need to calculate the ripple factor and the DC output voltage for these given uh, parameters uh, of the half wave rectifier. Uh, yes, this is what we are given with. So we directly uh, apply these values in the formula for the ripple factor, uh, which is 1 upon 2 root 3 FCRL substitute and that gives us the ripple factor of 0 0.0103. Uh, one thing we may need to note down here is that uh, the lowest value of uh, ripple factor and the uh, value of uh, VDC can be determined by applying all the given parameters in the formula 2 FCRL into VM upon 1 plus 2 FCRL substitution gives us the value of DC voltage to be 19.649 uh, volts. Uh, we may also need to note down that the DC voltage is close enough to the peak voltage that is 20 volts. The ripple factor is very low and the peak voltage, the DC voltage is as close to the uh, peak voltage of the input. Uh, you can also solve another problem just by replacing the half wave rectifier with a full wave rectifier and see how different the ripple factor and the DC voltage will be. A different problem but related to the capacitive filter. A half wave rectifier with capacitive filter has to supply an average voltage of 30 volts. So this is the DC voltage that we need to have at the output across the 900 ohm load resistance. We need to find out the RMS input voltage, the input RMS voltage and the value of capacitor such that the ripple factor is uh, less than 0 0.05. Assuming the frequency is uh, 50 hertz. The given uh, parameters, uh, the required VDC is 30 volts, RL is 900 ohm, the required uh, ripple factor is 0 0.05, frequency is 50 hertz. So we have to find out the capacitance value and also the RMS input voltage. So, in the formula for the ripple factor, we have R is equal to 1 upon 2 root 3 FC RL. We are given with R, F, and RL. C is the only unknown here. So reformulate to get a value of C. So 1 upon 2 root 3 F R R L substitution gives us the value of capacitance to be 128.3 microfarad. So in the second part where we need to determine the RMS input voltage, to determine the input RMS voltage, first we need to have the value of input peak voltage. If we have the uh, value of input peak voltage, we can determine the input RMS voltage. The question says that the required VDC is 30 volts. F is given, C we have found, RL is also given. So substitute all these parameters to get the value of VM. So just rewriting the same expression to get the value of VM, it will be VDC into 1 plus 2 FC RL upon 2 FCRL. So that gives us the value of VM, the peak voltage to be 32.59. So once this has been found, the RMS voltage is nothing but VM by root 2. Now again, the same understanding we need to have here is that irrespective of whether the rectifier is half wave or full wave, the input RMS always remains to be VM by root 2. So substitution of VM here gives us the value of VRMS to be 23 volts. 
those were uh, some of the problems solved with respect to just half wave rectifiers you can solve similar problems with respect to the center tap transformer rectifier or as well as the full wave bridge rectifier and see how different they will be in terms of the outputs thank you